So hello guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm staying super mobile this session. As you can tell, I've got a rucksack with my rod attached to it. Got my net also can attach to it too, so we can stay mobile and move a lot and fish a lot of swims today. We've only got four hours to make an entire video. That's from the fishing, the catching fish, the filming, the b-roll footage, the talking, everything is going to be filmed in four hours this session. So fingers crossed it goes well. Um, because we're doing that, I'm going to be fishing relatively small baits, basically search baits, uh, mostly using the Xander Pro Shads today. I think they're like nine or ten centimetre. Um, I've got a few different rigging options from standard jig heads to weedless rigging, so we can fish every single swim we get to confidently and hopefully catch as many fish as we can within this four hour window. So let's go and explore some forgotten ponds right now. We've got maybe three or four small forgotten ponds to try and then we've got a slightly larger one a bit further upstream um, and then fingers crossed we'll put a few fish on the bank let's crack on right now we're at our first swim of choice this is the area where i came to last time when i was out dead baiting the forgotten ponds like i say everything is nice and tightly compact onto my bag almost literally everything so it's time to get everything unpacked get the laws out that I'm using and hopefully put some fish on the bank. Because we're wanting to catch as many fish as possible today, I'm going to be fishing a relatively light setup. The Prism X rod and reel, rod is weighted 3 to 14 gram and we're going to be using some relatively small baits. Uh, the 10 centimeters Xander Pro Shad is what we're going to be focusing on. I've got multiple different rigging options. We're going to start off with a standard jig head in hopes of catching as many fish as we can do that way. And then when we get to the more weedy areas where it's stacked up with weed um, and reeds and we really want to power the bait in there, we're going to be using a weedless tactic with an offset hook. So let's see if we can get any fish on the bank. Start off with a straight retrieve, just blasting it around. Search bait, just try and find a reaction strike off a jack pike. Then we'll start doing different stuff to the bait, I think. There we go, there's a wake. Someone's chasing it. Someone's definitely chasing it. There was something chasing that then. There we go. Fish on, fish on. I was at distance pleasure on my drags it a bit tighter actually. Good job I didn't lose that one. Straight away. I think it's a jack but he's fighting hard. I think he's got me in some weed. Come on. It don't feel too bad but I think he's just maybe fighting hard. There we go. There we go. It is just a really hard fighting little jack bike. After we have one fall out, we finally got a take. There we go. Awesome bit of fishing. He is a chunky little pike. Really fat, really well fed. And that is a fantastic start to the session. I've been here no more than maybe 10 minutes. I had one follow down the right hand margin. Didn't turn into anything, so I cast it down the left hand side across to the towards the far bank and a beautiful fat little jack pike. And what's really promising is the back end's got a great big bite mark from where a bigger pike's had hold of him. You can see the scratches on the tail. So there are some monsters in here if we can find him. Let's get this one back because he put up a really good scrap. I'll we'll see if we can find some more. What a fantastic start. So I just decided I was changing over to a weedless rigging to get right into the reeds. And as I was getting the stuff out ready to go, there was a huge splash. I say huge, it was definitely a pike, let's put it that way, right behind me. So what I'm gonna do is just rig this bait, weedless rigging style, with an offset hook, and I'm gonna rig it sideways. And I hope that maybe we can get a fish out from tucked right into the reed beds. There we go, well, look, completely weedless rigged. Five gram chub weight. 
We'll see if we can make something happen. Alright, let's get whatever that fish was just then. There we go. Fish on. Fish on. Oh, come on. I think. Oh, he did. Oh, drag was a bit too loose for the weedless rigging. Well, I know from experience that this swim is particularly snaggy. So we're going to keep on the weedless rigging, even though I just lost a fish on it. Obviously, it gives me the best, the best chance of actually getting a take and being able to get the bait right into the reeds where the pike are hiding. There we go, fish up, fish up. There we go. On the weedless rigging. Oh, he's got us around the snag. Has he come off? Oh, he's still on, he's still on. Oh God, really got us wrapped up. And it was worth putting it on, and that was right in the reed bed. And that's just about long enough in this area, I think. Oh, there we go, he's a lovely fish. Be the biggest one so far, if I can get it into the net. Yes. Definitely worth sticking to the weedless again. See, it told you it can be real, real rewarding. Fishing right inside the snags, it can be a pain, but if you're fishing your rigs properly, you know yourself can handle it. But you can get yourself some quality, quality fish. Oh, just about netted it then. It's a lovely pike. Nailed on the weedless rigging. There's a fantastic fish. Look at that. I'm only just hooked. So that doesn't happen very often to me. Filming some B-roll footage of the pike laid in the net with the rig still in its mouth. It decided to swim out of the net, managed to get my rigging unhooked and caught in the reeds in the margin and swam off. But hey, that's what we're doing, catch and release anyway. So he gave himself a quick release. Fantastic fishing so far. I've been fishing probably about an hour and a half. Um, we've had one fish, lost one, and no, we've had two fish and lost one. And that one was caught on the weedless rigging and blasted right into the reed beds. And that's what we're doing, changing our rigging constantly this session. So I'm about to move on to the next swim now. Probably put on a weedless rigging again because it is another snaggy area. And we'll see if we can catch any more pike. <laughs> yeah. It's a nice area here. Although I have been generally finding the pike in the more snaggy areas and tucked into the margins. And in the reed beds, we have got a nice bit of open water to cast into here. Pike, right in front of me. Just gonna take it. Right in front of me, he's followed it right in. Got it, we got it. Whoa, sorry little guy, I didn't realize just how small he was. <laughs> got him in the net and all the reeds by the looks of it <laughs> lovely little pike that's a beautiful little pike struck him into next week making sure that weedless rigging uh, hooked into him but it seems to be paying off anyway definitely had more action since i've been casting into the more snaggy areas and it is paying off and fingers crossed i might hit my target of getting more than five pike out today that'd be awesome With that, it was time to move on to the final swim. Got 40 minutes left. We've just finished covering this pond. One more pond to go, one more swim to go. Fingers crossed we'll get one more fish before the end of the session. So I've got to the last area I'm willing to try this session. And unfortunately, the water is way deeper than I thought it was going to be. Um, this is an area where I've taken my socks and shoes off before and walked across, and it's only come up to my knees. I've got a feeling it's going to come up a lot higher, but we'll find out in a second. Wish me luck guys. I've got a feeling this is going to be way too deep, but we'll give it a go. It's freezing and all. Oh, the jeans are already wet, it can't get much deeper, can it? 
Yep. Oh, screw it. it. Looks like we're getting soaked. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was a mistake. You know when you just kind of commit to something, and you just kind of go for it. <laughs> I'm going to be really annoyed if I don't get any fish from this area now. Well, I'm soaked wet through, freezing cold. It's my last area, last pond to fish of the session. So I better make it count. I've got probably less than an hour left to fish. Let's see how many more fish we can catch. So I've just had a cast out in this swim with a different colour and pattern bait and I had a blow up but unfortunately I missed the take and it was right up against the reeds. I decided to go out now with the most garish, brightest colour I've got of these Xander Pro Sheds uh, with an exposed hook just off the edge of the reeds. I'm going to see if I can get that fish that I just missed. Go on, we got one. Yes. Wow, <laughs> these forgotten ponds fish really are strong. Yes. Knew I'd miss one here. You come back for it. There we go. We got him. Well, this could very well be one of the last fish of the session. I've only got probably 20 minutes left um, before I have to go home and it's going to start getting dark. But what a fun session it's been so far. Um, like I say, I've got about half an hour left, 20 minutes, half an hour. See if I can get maybe one more pike. But I've had loads of fun up till now. I think I've landed three and lost two. That is absolutely fantastic. Oh, you know what, it was kind of worth getting my legs wet for this swim. I mean, I know it's only a jack, but it's real exciting stuff. Smashing those little baits on the light setup right into the reeds and getting these little aggressive guys absolutely nailing it. So I think that about ends this session now, the sun is setting. We've had some fantastic fish, we had a lovely jack pike to end the session on at a new pond, the last pond I was trying. I did also have some contact with two other fish too, but I think they were quite small fish. Um, now the bait I used for the whole session today was the Xander Pro Shads, and they worked fantastically. Caught loads of fish, the biggest one I actually caught was probably about five or six pound. It was one that let itself go. And I've lost a couple of fish as well. We've changed between standard rigging, we've changed between uh, fishing a stinger hook, and I've also used weedless rigging to be able to help Help get into the deepest thickest snags and I think actually the weedless riggings probably performed slightly better today in terms of finding the fish because that's where they've been hiding right into the snags so thank you guys for watching if you have liked it don't forget to like the video if you want to check out the stuff that I've used today like the laws and the tackle that I've used I'll leave that down in the description below if you want to subscribe it's free and I'll catch you guys later